right, right. You also did um, a Mike Brown piece yes. for JMZ Walls. Yes. Um, and the context of everything that's going on, kind of what, what was, why did you do that piece? And then kind of um, what did you want to communicate? Uh, well, like I said, I've been kind of, I mean, I'm obviously a portrait artist. That's what I do, which is why nationally when I first started doing Walls, I just said I got into more of like famous people. Obviously, JMZ Walls gave me that wall, and I didn't really have a plan. And then it got... Um, the night before is when the verdict came, and the night before is when all the riots and everything was going on. So, you know, when I showed up to the wall, I'm like, there's no way I can, right, right now with what's going on, you know, there's no way I can put up anything else but that because he deserves respect, he deserves to be remembered, and like for all the people who get memorialized on the wall at that moment. I felt like, you know, you, you hear about all these news stories and you never want people to forget about it in like two, three months. Sure. You know what I mean? So it's like it's if, he's, if, he's, uh, yeah, if he's up on the wall for six months, and every time somebody passes by, they're going to be reminded of what happened. So with that, I, I just, I kind of felt like in that morning, there was no way I could have done anything else. All right. It's your go-to story. When I was doing the first piece you guys ever painted on Centrifuge on first and first, I was in the middle of painting Mike D's face. Mike D. Yeah, that's what shot to my team. Um, I was in the middle of painting his face, and he happened to walk by. I think he went there. It was like a juice press or a juice bar that he go. So all of a sudden, the curator, um, Pebbles Van Peebles, shout out there, was, like, was like, oh my god, that's it. And like, she like she, like ran down the block, and I saw from down the block, she like pointed to it, and he kind of did one of these. Like, gave, and as I'm, so as I'm painting Mike D's face, that's crazy. he like Spot. walked by and gave me like a, a thumbs up. So that was a really huge cosign. That's um, and art battles. Art battles, yes. yes. So for people that might not have ever been the one to see the scene of how it, what goes on there, and um, like, what, art, what, it, what is an art battle? Well, it's really almost like if in, when you go to an event and you go to see a DJ mm -hmm. or you go to see a performer, the performers are the artists that are live painting. And the goal is to finish a canvas in a set amount of time. Um, and you almost battle against the other artists. Right. Sometimes there's big prizes, like when I went to Paris, when I went to Germany, when I went to Poland, all of that was because I won art battles. Wow. Sometimes you get gallery shows, sometimes you get money. Sometimes you just do it for the fun and you're not really winning a prize. You just kind of do it for the title. Um, I've been painting with art battles since 2008. Um, they have rounds. Uh, every round has different rules. At the end, it's audience vote. They always have, there's a DJ, so you, and there, there's a bar, and they usually have like beatboxers, so in between the rounds, you get to see some entertainment. Wow. But it's almost kind of like, you're listening to the DJ, everyone's right. dancing, you're watching people paint. Um, so, have to check one so of it's, out. yeah, it's like a great night out. They all, in the summertime, they do art battles in the park, so you can come and like, oh, awesome. like a big live painting event. And art battles does it now. Um, they they started it back up again for the summer every Thursday at LPR. There we go. We'll def definitely check that yeah. out. Definitely check that out. Yeah. All right, so now we're gonna go through just a couple of either or questions <laughs> in New York City. Awesome. All right. Okay. So uh, yeah, either or. Either or. Knicks or Nets? On. I'm with it. I'm a Knicks girl. Ah, there we go. All right. I got it. There we go. I'm I'm, I'm just saying they like they, even they, more they now. got they got me through the 90s. So, you know. <laughs> exactly. Uh, Nike or Adidas? Adidas. Biggie or Pac? Biggie. Ooh. Shade no shade, it means to laugh there. <laughs> Biggie. Jay or Nas? Nas. Okay. Just like that. <laughs> Drake or Kendrick Lamar? Kendrick Lamar. <laughs> Closing, um, what can we expect from you in the future? What should we keep our eyes open? Um, I'm focusing on getting uh, some more gallery shows, some more solo shows. I've been in tons and tons of, I had two solo shows last year. Um, at Lowbrow and at Bucket Feet, from the location yes, in the city. Bucket but, Feet, uh, check it out too. That's, I'm wearing Bucket Feet. Right. And just for um, people who don't know, that's a uh, sneaker company yep. that artists design the sneakers for. And uh, every month they do an artist in residence. They and I, they gave me a solo show in Soho. Mm -hmm. I redid the interior and I designed two parachutes. Wow. And they do that every month, so they really support artists. Okay. Um, but this year I'm going to focus on um, getting some more solo shows, mm -hmm. maybe a little bit more gallery representation, and obviously more international walls. Right. I, I want people to fly me places to paint big walls. <laughs> so like a nice gig. And then also, um, just a closing, where can we see more of your stuff and where do you exist in the digital space? Your Instagram, um, Facebook, website. Um, I am working on a solo show at Image Gallery. Um, it's going to be in the upcoming months. I'm not exactly sure. So. 
group. But I'm at daniellemastrion.com okay. and my Instagram, most of my work is posted on Instagram, is at daniellebknyc. Very dope, mm -hmm. very dope. So we appreciate you. Thank, Thank you, you for meeting us. And this is Brad for Walkaway TV. Shout 25, out to Walkaway. 25 for the 25th.